Hi Virgo friend, we are a Dutch expat family living in Qatar and in this video we take you along our journey to find our liveaboard sailing catamaran in Greece. We look at three different sailing catamarans and share the whole process with you. We have minimal experience so a lot to learn about sailing and catamarans. Join us from day one of our sailing adventure as we jump into the deep and make our dreams come true. Virgo friends, welcome back again. So just made it to Athens airport here actually, literally just landed. I'm waiting for my girls to arrive. They should land in the next 10 minutes or so. And uh, that's it, we're in Athens, going to drive around Greece actually, to explore, but mainly to find our uh, dream catamaran. So we've got our eyes on three different catamarans. Hopefully we get to see all three of them and uh, do a whole tour of them, review them as much as we can from the little knowledge that we have at this point, not that much. Uh, so we're gonna check them out. I might do the full tours in separate videos and just a brief description uh, for each boat in this uh, video itself. And we'll see how it goes. Enjoy the holiday with us. Hopefully you'll find the boats interesting. And uh, let's go. Hopefully the girls will come soon. I'm ready. <laughs> Good, and that's it. We, so we've already made it to the first beach. Right after uh, leaving the airport, picking up the rental car took a little bit of time. Had to take a shuttle and everything, complete the paperwork. But once we had the car, drove to the nearby uh, Airbnb that we booked. Had a little nap with Lily. And we're at the first beach. So I can see a small port on the other side of the bay actually. Probably have some, uh, some dinner over there. Look at some boats from a distance, I suppose. <laughs> and then tomorrow we might visit the first one, a Lagoon 400 in uh, Piraeus, if I pronounce it correctly. So hopefully, let's see. But it feels like holiday straight away. <laughs> Meanwhile, Greece was having one of its hottest summers in years, which led to many wildfires, including the one of which you see the smoke here behind me. <laughs> After our first swim in Greece, with a much needed cool down of the 40 degree heat, we drove to the other side of the bay for a super tasty Greek dinner. And there we are, it's another day. We're driving from Athens Airport where we stayed in the Airbnb on to uh, Piraeus, Agi Theodori, I think I remember correctly, and uh, see this Lagoon 400. Running a little bit late, but should be there in what less than half an hour, so that's good. And uh, the 40 foot size is the ideal size that we're thinking of getting, uh, but we've never been on a 40 foot boat catamaran, so um, let's check that out, see how it feels, see the condition of the boat as well, and uh, tech status, all those things we'll have to think of. Almost there, so we'll see you there. And there we are, Fergal friends, in front of the Lagoon 400. We just found it. Speaking to the owners right now, and uh, the broker agent is here. 
so having a look at the whole condition of the boat and also because of the first 40 foot catamaran we're seeing so to get a feel for the size of it i mean you have to start somewhere right and we're living in qatar very limited sailboats there just power boats so we basically have to travel abroad to even see any kind of sailboat which is uh, which is happening now so far so good So from what I understand, it has anti-osmosis treatment and what has to be done is the anti-fouling on top of that. Owner was just saying how we replace these through holes from copper to stainless steel. And that's how the through holes look from the inside of the boat. Write me a comment if you are interested in the full tour of this catamaran. When it becomes available, I'll post a link here below in the description or the comments. Okay, let's have a look on top as well. Okay, yeah. Important. So you will see that some of them are getting rust okay. and not painted. It's right. very important to be maintained. I see. I'm talking no. about general safety, not about this boat. No, no, general. in general. I yeah. can bet. Great. Guys told me a lot. So it's amazing. So that's the outside size. will definitely be fine for the family. No issue there. And let's have a quick look inside. There's your sails again, like you said. Yeah. Outboard. Good. New cushions for outside, which is mm -hmm. perfect. Two bridges. Yeah. Uh, the panel. storage yeah yeah not unimportant see the height i'm 198 actually tall so you see it's good enough for this lagoon 400 <laughs> and the cabins have not had much use which we can definitely see they are really nice they look practically new so we're in the starboard aft cabin here Manual toilets. Great condition, no issue. Okay, let's go to the other side and then we're out of time. But anyway, the kids will have to move on too. Okay. So here's the charger and the battery. Okay. Some mm -hmm. uh, cables. All right. Uh, inside here we got the cutter for the cables. Okay. So if mm -hmm. the mast break, yeah, you for want emergency to leave use, the, right? Yeah, you have to leave the mast. Yeah. Somewhere. Yeah, yeah. You gotta cut. Yeah, there might be a way to cut the, the cable. It's a legal requirement, basically. So it's in Greece, not everywhere. Ah, okay. That's why, yeah. let's say, if you go to Croatia, you're not gonna find the cutter. Right. Okay. It's a big thing like that. Okay. I see. There. Yeah. So okay. in Greece, it's mandatory. Right. I see. Yeah. 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 But I bro. Port aft cabin. New cushions to go outside, also on the helm seat. They're ready to go. Not used due to Corona. Uh -oh. And the electric should be here. There you go. Inside I'm happy, all done, thank you very much. Just film how it is here. So it comes with the full surroundings for the outside. Pretty much in new condition. All right, super. 
Don't forget your daughter's shoes. Ah, yes, they're still there. Okay, perfect. And so we wrapped up our visit of this Lagoon 400 catamaran. We drove west for another few hours to make our way to Preveza. Good morning Fraggle friends, another day. So it's uh, the day after we viewed this Lagoon 400. Uh, afternoon got a little bit stressful, we, we had a quite a long drive to do anyway, about four hours to get to Preveza. And uh, then we had to book this Airbnb, but the location turned out to be different from the location advertised online. So uh, yeah, to find out that that was actually the case, that took some time. Then to find a new place took a bit of time. In the end we are here, uh, but now we might not even stay, we might go to another place. So, a bit of additional things to do, but that happens with the last minute trip, so not to worry. But yeah, about yesterday's boat, so um, it, was, it was in a really good condition. You could tell that the owners really looked after it, did the maintenance properly. So that was amazing to see. Uh, engine hours just over 5000 hours, something like that, but it seemed properly maintained, so, so that should still be fine. Uh, we looked at the through holes. They were quite recently replaced. You could see they were very new, especially on the inside. So that was really nice. Uh, cabins, because it's used for day trip charter. Barely used. So really happy to see those. Uh, only thing maybe, yeah, being the charter version, to live on it as a family, having four full cabins and four toilets might be a bit excessive. We would be more than happy with just two, I guess. But that's the thing, right? To find a boat like that is not that easy. So you have to ask yourself, do you want to make the compromise or keep looking for the right boat? And maybe pay a higher price as well. Um, we talked about the rigging, it was the original rigging still, and the boat is 2012, so it's about, I guess, coming to nine years old. So that I'm just wondering for insurance purposes. So apparently sometimes 10 year old rigging would have to be completely replaced, but that apparently does depend on the country, so I have to do more research. And um, yeah, that's the short recap really. That's what we know from this boat. Size-wise, the 40-foot size was good. We, we can live on that. We'll be happy actually, no problem. We don't need anything bigger. If we find something bigger, we might consider. But we probably wouldn't go for anything smaller than that. So, so let's see. So that's what we know for now. Right now we are uh, just north of Preveza actually. Canali, the place is called, I had to think, but it's called Canali. And um, we we'll probably head over to Lefkas and find a place to stay there instead. Let's continue the journey, let's see. And for now we're at this beach at uh, Canali, which is awesome. Nice and clear water. It's still early because it's middle of summer, the temperature is reaching easily 40 degrees in, in Greece right now, which is crazy. Some people saying the hottest summer in like 20 years or maybe even more. So. But that's good, that's what we want, right? Sunshine, 
and still the water is fresh so that cools you down that's amazing Right, there we are, we made it. We're actually on left cause right now. So I guess that was worth the drive. Imagine if we wouldn't have done this, we would have missed these views. They're really awesome. Might just let the drone up to see it properly. But there you go. I don't know if you can tell on the camera, but sailboats everywhere. You can see like 20 at the same time. So that's good news as well. We're happy. So where we ended up on left coast is actually on the east coast, about halfway down. So hopefully nice central location to explore lots of nice spots here. Should be really good. friends we are back for a new day it's time today to look at the lagoon 410 of 1998 we're actually here still on uh, Lefkas on the island itself and the boat is in the uh, Preveza marina so we'll drive over there have a look at it and see what it's like hopefully in the afternoon explore some more of the islands here of Lefkas and that's it I'm excited let's have a look this Lagoon 410 was definitely a beautiful boat. Unfortunately, the broker did not allow filming for YouTube, so this is all we can show. But if you're interested in more details of the boat, head over to our Patreon page and check it out. In the afternoon, we hopped over to Nikiana Beach, very close to where we stayed, for some snorkeling and swimming in these amazing clear waters. Okay, time for a snorkel. Right, another day here in Lefkada, Greece. We've just driven to the south towards uh, Zivota and through the internet we were lucky enough to get in touch with people that have just decided to put up their boat for sale. It's a uh, Lavezzi 40 and we're gonna check it out now. So let's see, the place is awesome. Let's see how the boat is. So while the girls enjoyed this cute little pebble beach nearby, I inspected the Lavezzi 40 catamaran and asked the owner all the questions that I could think of. And there you go, that was the uh, Lavezzi 40. So we've seen it, we've had a full tour. Of course for the owner we're not going to show you the insides out of respect for privacy. But uh, yeah, amazing, very impressive. It might well be the one, it's super exciting. So we just have to take it all in, sleep on it, think about it and uh, love seeing this boat happy with the size and quite happy with the, all the equipment on there maintenance status impressive so happy days 
let's see. Next time, follow our journey to find out if we committed to one of these catamarans. What happened next? And of course, to see more of the beautiful island of Lefkas in Greece. And don't forget to check out our Facebook, Instagram and Patreon accounts as well. See you!